Hi, welcome to the video. What is Amazon S3 for developers? I am Nam Haming from CodeJava.net. In details, I'd like to share with you what is Amazon S3, what can Amazon S3 be used for, and some benefits of Amazon S3, and the key features of Amazon S3, and some overview information about developing with Amazon S3. You know, Amazon Simple Storage Service or Amazon S3 is a cloud-based object storage service that offers industry leading scalability, data availability, security, and performance. Amazon S3 is offered by Amazon Web Services or AWS, a subsidiary of Amazon. And Amazon S3 can be used to store, protect, and retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere on the web. And this is the homepage aws.amazon.com slash S3. Amazon S3 is an ideal storage solution for websites, hosting static resources, mobile apps, enterprise apps, cloud native apps, backup and restore, disaster recovery, archive, IoT devices, data lakes, and big data analytics. A common use of Amazon S3 for hosting websites is store files uploaded by end users in an application deployed on a container-based service like Heroku or store websites, static assets such as JavaScript, CSS, PDF videos to take advantage of uh, Amazon S3 features. And here are the main features of Amazon S3. First and foremost is storage management and monitoring, including versioning and replication, storage analytics and insights, storage classes which enable cost efficiency for different cases. Access management and security with granular permission and encryption. Data processing, for example, use custom code to modify data. Query in BLAST uh, to run big data analytics directly on the data. Data transfer services for any data migration project online or offline. Performance with parallel request, strong read after write consistency. And the benefits of Amazon S3 is uh, performance. Scalability, availability, security, durability, and cost efficiency. And under developer's perspective, uh, Amazon S3 is the REST service that provides a comprehensive REST API. That means you can use a standard HTTP request to manage objects in Amazon S3 server, but using Amazon S3 REST API is time consuming and cumbersome. For managing objects in Amazon S3 server, you can use the AWS Management Control or AWS Command Line Interface. And for developing software with Amazon S3 server, you can use AWS SDK or Software Development Kit, which simplifies programming tasks by wrapping the underlying REST API. And the major supported programming languages are Java.NET, PHP, Ruby, Python, and JavaScript. And for mobile development, you can use AWS Mobile SDK for iOS and Android. And for JavaScript, you can use the AWS Amplify JavaScript library. And for IDE support, there are AWS Toolkit for Eclipse and AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio. So for managing objects stored in Amazon S3 server, you can use the AWS Command Line Interface or AWS Management Console. And for developing applications with Amazon S3, you can use the Amazon S3 REST API directory or use uh, AWS SDK for your favorite programming language such as Java, .NET, PHP, JavaScript, uh, Ruby, and Python. Okay, that's some overview information about Amazon S3. Uh, for more information, please go to Amazon S3 homepage, Amazon S3 user guide, and Amazon S3 REST API reference. So you have learned what is Amazon S3, what can Amazon S3 be used for, benefits of Amazon S3 and features of Amazon S3, and some overview information about developing with Amazon S3. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video if you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.